Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is add content to these. And so we're going to come back over to the widget area and we're going to drag, let's see, expand widget box one, front intention box one. And we're going to drag a black studio tiny MCE widget over to this. And for a title, we're going to say link to a service. And for the content, I'm just going to copy this content for the time being. And then I'm going to enter here and we're going to put an image in. So this is the first time you'll put an image in a, in a text widget I'm using this Black Studio Tiny MCE widget. So we just hit Add Media. And in this case, we're going to select Upload Files. Actually, you know what? I think I've got the file here I want in the Media Library. So let's look at the Media Library. Because the one I want is, yeah, the people looking at drawing. So that's this one here. I've already included it. You can see it's 275 by 150 pixels. And I'm going to center align it. I don't want it to link to anything, and I'm going to use that full size image. So we just insert it into the post. Now I'm going to link this to the services page. So I select it, click link, and then look for my services page. There's my services page, so add a link. And now it links to that. And I could add a clash to the widget, but I'm not going to, because I'm going to use something, I'm going to use the uh, ID that we use to style it instead. So we'll just hit save here. Although this little thing here will let you create styles for any widget, right? I mean, you can, you could add that action call class to any widget and it would adopt that same style that we that we created earlier but we won't use this on this one we hit save we come back over and refresh this now we've got a title the picture the text and a link now I've already created these two widgets so I'm just going to drag those in here real quickly So open up box two and three, and we'll drag the one widget there, and we'll drag the other widget here, and we'll refresh our page, and we should have all three sitting in there. Okay. So now that we've got all of those, now we are going to style it. And if we take a look at this, all right, we've got a background color we're going to style. We've got the title that's going to be styled. We've got and our link that's going to be styled. Okay. So come back over. Oh, also in the background that's going to get styled. Background color. So we'll come back over here. Actually, remember in the thesis skin editor, we gave these this an idea of attention box. I'm just going to copy that. Come over to CSS, creating another Agility widget style package. Call it Attention Boxes. Give it the reference Attention Box. Now, in this case, the widget is inside of a container with the idea of Attention Box. So I'm going to say Shift Pound Sign and paste that, paste that ID that we did. And we have to have a space now because the container called widget is inside of the container called attention box. And that's the way this thing works. And so when you specify, when you use the ID in that smart widget columns box, if you create an ID in there, then it needs to be separated from whatever class the widgets are called by a space because this is actually a container that contains this.
if they if there was no space it would mean for the container that has the ID of attention box and the class of widget but that's not what we have we have a container called attention box that holds a container called widget okay and so just right off the bat if we come over here and go to our whoops up to our widgets and let's give it a background color now our background color actually we need to create a background color variable so right now I'm just going to use this well in fact I'm going to put the right number in there F 0 E E E 2 that is the color that we're going to create a variable for and that's the color that we're going to use as the background for that so if we hit save to that and then come back over to let's see widgets call to a action call and then say nope what was that that was attention attention boxes attention box okay save that CSS come over and refresh it okay let's refresh it again so now we've got that background color here now looking at this you can tell right the difference between this and this well first is off we need the padding around it secondly we need uh, you know a bigger font needs to be centered needs to be Arial needs to be that green color the font size a little smaller so let's try that again so let's start off with this by giving it padding all the way around We'll go to our options and our widgets and padding and we'll just go ahead and say 20 pixels everywhere okay cax color should be tc1 widget titles now we're going to give needs to be Arial. The font size is going to be, uh, let's say, 24 with a 28 pixel line height. We'll make the font weight bold. We're going to align it to the center. We're going to make the text color that BC1 which is that dark green color and let's see what else did we say about fonts the fonts here we said we're going to well let's see let's just set the let's just set the topography for 320 again and let's save it and let's see how close we are to what we want okay we're quite a bit closer although we want some margin below link to service so I'm going to give that I'm going to give it 20 pixels of margin, bottom margin. So we come back over here, open up attention boxes, go to widget titles, margin, bottom, make it 20 pixels. Refresh it. one more time well okay 
So let's just double check that again. I must have done something wrong. Oh, widget titles, margin, bottom, 20 pixels. So let's save it. And let's save the CSS. And let's refresh it. There we go. Okay, must not have just saved it properly. But now you have these attention boxes with a link off to the page, you know, with an image there, with with a distinctive set aside styling, I mean, different than the rest. And it's all looking like we want it to look.